everyone, Lightning Spirit 78 here, and welcome to the start of a brand new Let's Play. This is a Let's Play of Portal. Now, Portal here is a unique little puzzle game, um, pretty much like a first person, pretty much like a first person shooter uh, puzzle game. Um, it's a lot of fun. It's one of my personal favorite games that I have here on Steam, which brings me into my next point. I am playing the Steam or PC version. Um, I believe you could get this game on the Xbox 360 and PS3 as well. But, I just like the Steam version better. Not that there's really any differences, but... Uh, real quick before we begin, I guess I should mention that in order for this to record, I had to lower a lot of the settings for this game. Because this game and its successor are actually pretty CPU intensive. So, um, in order to avoid too much lag, um, I decided I needed to cut down on, uh, some of the uh some of the quality now the game still looks nice in my opinion but um some things are a bit dumbed down i guess you could say so really it shouldn't affect too much it's still a fun game i've been looking forward to lping this game although i have to admit the uh the sequel is actually my uh personal preference of the two but eh, maybe that'll be another story for another day in any case let's get started here with a brand new game Ugh, where the heck are we, anyway? That looks like we're in some kind of... box? Oh, hey, a radio! Now you can move and uh, pick up stuff with E, and you can move yourself around with the WSAD keys. You can also drop things with E. Can I put the radio in the toilet? And again, welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center. Are you a voice we from heaven? Your brief detention in the relaxation vault has been a pleasant one. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Before we start, however, keep in mind that although fun and learning are the primary goals of all enrichment center activities, serious injuries may occur. Woo! Serious for your injuries! Own safety and the safety of others. Please refrain from. Ah, what? Ah, Spanish! What? Turn back. The portal will open in three, two, one. Okay, now the main gimmick of this game is pretty much placing portals um, wherever you need to go on these surfaces. Uh, pretty much put a portal wherever you want, and you're going to go out the other side. See, we have a portal right here, and we came out this side. Now, if you look in the reflection, real quick, if I can get back in here, you'll see that this is a female character. Her name is, uh, her name is Chell. C-H-E-L-L, -L, I believe. Um, she's the main character of the two games, and she will be our protagonist. Another silent protagonist, so I'm just gonna have to be her voice. Now here we have little buttons. Now what these buttons do? Well, they do various things, but they need to be weighted down by these cubes. So whenever you see a cube, odds are you gotta place it on a button. Excellent. Please proceed into the chamber lock after completing each test. First, however, note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. For instance, the Aperture Science Weighted Storage Cube. Okay, so pretty much what she meant there is if we were to take that cube and take it across this field, it would be pretty much evaporated. We can't take it with us to the next floor, so we pretty much have no choice but just to move on with our day. Next floor, filled with more tests and portals. Let's jump down here. Please place the weighted storage cube on the 1500 megawatt aperture science heavy duty super colliding super button. Okay, now pretty much the objective for this one is whenever the portal changes, you wanna go into this room, pick up, pick up, thank you, pick up the cube and now we gotta wait. Hooray! Waiting, it's like my favorite thing to do in video games. Except for, you know, when I hate waiting, which is pretty much all the time, so that's pretty much a blatant lie. Alright. Ah, cube. 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 Where'd you go? Crap! Where'd the cube go? Oh, I did fall. Ah. Uh, seriously, where did that cube go? Oh my goodness. Cube? Uh oh. Cube! It's probably like right here, and I'm just not seeing it. Oh my goodness, where is that cube? 
Um, what? It, what? Cube? Wait, did it go out this exit? No, where, where is the cube? Huh. Okay. This is a rather odd glitch. Give me one second. Okay, we're back in here. I just had to reload the save. Honestly, I have no idea what just happened. I've never seen a thing like that. I'm really hoping I didn't just like waste a whole bunch of minutes just like looking stupid when the cube was actually like right there. But I did not see that cube anywhere. Oh, I see you now, little cubie. I'm placing on the button. And this super duper simple test is quickly to the really not that the hard. Of prolonged exposure to the button are not part of this test. I like prolonged exposure to the button. Buttons have never led me astray. They're my friends. They've never harmed me. Third floor, more portal tests and You're cubes very well. and cameras. Please be advised that a noticeable taste of blood is not part of any test protocol, but it's an un unintended side effect of the Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grill, which may, in semi-rare cases, emancipate dental fillings, crowns, tooth enamel, and teeth. Yay! So pretty much if we get zapped by a portal, there's a good chance that our mouth will be completely destroyed. Speaking of portal... That's gonna shoot a little blue portal right here, and we can pick up this gun. Very good. You are now in possession of the Aperture Science handheld portal device. With it, you can create your own portals. These interdimensional gates have proven to be completely safe. The device, however, has not. Do not touch the operational end of the device. Do not look directly at the operational end of the device. Do not submerge the device in liquid, even partially. Most importantly, under no circumstances should you- Aw oh man, I was looking forward to dipping this thing in water. I was curious as to what it would do. Okay, so now we got the portal gun. Pretty much you can click and we can shoot a blue portal. We are pretty much in control. Okay. Now, one thing that I might want to note... For the chamber lock. Mind the gap. Oh yeah, there's a gap over there, isn't there? Now, one thing I want to note is that with this portal gun, we can now to start to destroy the these little cameras. All authorized activities. Do not destroy vital testing apparatus. Or the vital testing apparatus. So I'm just going to call them cameras. But if you destroy all the cameras in this game that you can destroy, which I won't be doing, safety, do not you can actually get an achievement. Now, I won't be covering all the achievements in this game, but this is something I wanted to point out for, well your, done. Remember, for your convenience. Remember, your science, bring your daughter to work day is the perfect time to have her tested. Bring your daughter to work day. Well, I don't work anywhere. Nor do I have a daughter. So that announcement doesn't even apply to me. I'm gonna make fireworks. Love doing it. Okay, test chamber Welcome five. Test four. Chamber okay. Four. <laughs> You're doing quite well. But... Now, as you can see, we need the cube to push down this button so we can get through the door. If you look down here, we got a radio. And we also got a cube. Shoot the portal down there, pick up your pick up your cube, put it on the button, and you're good to go. Once again, excellent excellent. As part of our required test protocol, we will not monitor the next test chamber. You will be entirely on your own. Good luck. I'm not ready to be on my own. I'm not ready for this kind of responsibility. Dang it, voice from the sky. I'm not ready to be alone. Although I guess I have been doing these tests all by myself so far. So, eh, can't hurt. Now test chamber five. Test chamber five. Now this one might look a little bit complicated, but honestly it's not. What you gotta do is you gotta place a little portal right here. Go up there. Place a blue portal behind that cube. So you can go over here, pick up the cube. Glitch out a bit. Place the cube on the button. Then go over here. Place the portal. The cube falls. Go over here. Pick up the cube. And lag a little bit. Fall down on the button. And you're good. Oh yeah. And boop. Certain objects may be vital to your success. Do not destroy testing apparatus. 
as part of a required test protocol. Our previous statement suggesting that we would not monitor this chamber was an outright fabrication. Good job. As part of a required test protocol, we will stop enhancing the truth in 3, 2, so pretty much you lied this entire time. Sounds like fun. Now, um, with these little, um, radios, you'll see these scattered about as well. You can pick up these little radios, and you can take them to various spots on the floor that you're on, and they will actually pick up a different, like, transmission. Um, if you do this with every single radio that you find, you can also get an achievement. Um, again, I won't be showing this, but, eh, it's, it's an interesting destroyed. achievement. Haven't unlocked it myself yet, but probably will one of these fine days. Love making elevator fireworks. Test chamber six. Now as you can see, whoops. While safety is one of many enrichment center goals. The aperture science high energy pellet seen to the left of the chamber can and has caused permanent disabilities such as vaporization. And Please be careful. In layman's terms, pretty shiny orb, do not touch. You touch, you die. That's pretty much what she said. Now if you look here, I haven't really pointed any of this out. There's 19 different test chambers. So pretty much 19 floors of tests. And these pretty much tell you the hazards that you need to look out for, so. Anyway, we got a portal right here. Now we need to get that energy ball right there. So if we put a portal up there, the little ball will float down and uh, you know, get to that. You. Subject name here must be the pride of subject hometown here. Well, yes, I am the pride and joy of subject hometown here. Woo, fireworks. Love doing this. It's like my favorite part of the game. It's like New Year's. Although, speaking of fireworks, it was actually kind of funny. Somebody was out there uh, shooting off fireworks tonight during dinner for no reason whatsoever. And it's January 17th, so I have no reason why they would be doing that. Anyway. Warning devices are required on all mobile equipment. However, alarms and flashing hazard lights have been found to agitate the high energy pellet and have therefore been disabled for your safety. Fair enough. Okay, now with this one. Whew, I almost got shot by that. This one, you want to place the portal right there, and it's going to go up and hit the thing. Even though that clearly Good. didn't hit it. Now use the aperture Whoa. science unstationary scaffold to reach the chamber lock. Okay, so we gotta get on that lift right there. So what we wanna do is place a portal up there and wait for the little bugger to come on over here. Come on, any day now. <laughs> you can see my feet. And woo! And with that, we are good to go. All right. Well, so far we made some pretty decent progress. Um, but I think that's actually going to be it for this episode of Let's Play Portal. So, if you guys enjoyed, and I hope you did, I will have more Portal coming at you soon. So please stay uh, stay tuned. Um, thank you so much for watching. And next time on Let's Play Portal, we're going to tackle some more of these tests. So take care, everyone. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. And I'll have more Portal coming at you soon. Bye-bye. Slaying Spirit 78, signing out. Take care.